Hi guys, this is another video of 89C51 microcontroller based projects that I used to do back in 2011. So the title of this project is keypad lock. So we have a keypad to enter the password and we have an LCD to see the password we entered and the microcontroller is doing all the stuff. So we have two indicators, in fact three indicators. Two indicators are LED. The first LED is lock open signal. So we can connect our electronic lock with this output of the XOR gate. And we have another LED which is named as warning signal here. So you can connect LED or small buzzer also with this one which shows that wrong password has been entered for more than four times. So there is third indicator also which is a buzzer connected to a relay. This is because of the fact that if we take out the microcontroller from its base or we turn off the signal or we damage the signal, the input that we are getting at this transistor input will cut off and it will turn on the buzzer as an indicator that the system is damaged or the IC has been taken out of the base. So let's see the output of the system and then we will see briefly the code also. Let's play the simulation. In the beginning it's asking for the password. So if we enter the correct password, we'll see this lock open signal LED will be turned on for five seconds and then it will turn off automatically. But if we enter the wrong password for more than four times, this LED will turn on and the system will start at that instance of code. So let's enter the correct password first. Okay, the correct password is 23456. It is a five digit password, which is already burned in the microcontroller. So if you are using this keypad lock, you can change that so for whatever it suits you. So for me, it was 23456. So let's enter the correct password. Now the lock is open. This LED is turned on for five seconds and then it will turn off. Okay, now we will enter the wrong password for four times. First time. Second time, third, and for the fourth time when we enter the wrong password, we'll see that the system will stuck over there. So it says, sorry, no more tries. And the system is stuck here. This warning signal is turned on. So if it is an LED, it will turn on. If there is an alarm here, it will start buzzing. So we can catch that guy who entered the wrong password. Okay, now the owner know how to reset this lock. So in order to reset this lock, what you have to do is to press this button two for about eight seconds and then the system will be reset. So the system is reset and you can enter the password again. So you can use it again as a lock. So let's see the code. So this is the code of the keypad lock. At line number 45 here, you entered your desired password. And over here from line number 54, we run a for loop for four times and it checks for the password. So for example, if you enter the correct password, this is how we are matching each element of the password you enter with the already burned password. If the password is true, this if statement will be true. And then you turn off the output for five seconds and you turn off the output again and you go to start, which is the starting point again. And if the password is not true, the count value will be less than four. So this if statement is not true. And then you come to this point of the code where you will be stuck at this point and it will turn on the warning signal until the owner comes and press the button two for about eight seconds and then it will reset again. So this is the code of the project. You can access the code from the GitHub repository. So this is all for this video. Before I end this video, I would like to warn you that now this video is on YouTube already. And the code is uploaded on github so do not use this code as it is and do not use this circuit as it is this video was intended to give an idea how to make a lock using microcontroller and a keypad so if you want to make your own lock you can understand the concept with this video and you have to implement your own technique a new code a new hardware in order to make it more robust and useful for you so thank you for watching i hope you liked it bye